There's no denying that actors are an integral part of the art of cinema. No matter how much some may say AI will eventually replace them, actors really are what makes a movie, stage play, or TV show work or not. Because it's their job to sell the audience on the hardships of the characters, the stakes of the plot, and make the audience feel what the writers want them to feel. And when they're particularly good at their jobs, they usually end up acquiring large fan bases that will go to see everything they appear in. But on the flip side, actors do sometimes rub people the wrong way due to their celebrity status, their burning money on useless things, and for seeming to believe that their opinions are more important than regular people's. And while it's okay to dislike famous actors for this reason, especially when they've legitimately done something wrong, I just feel that some people have started to take their hatred of famous actors and actresses way too far, to the point that they're sometimes willing to tear down the whole profession of acting just to get their point across. And today, I'd like to go over why I don't believe this is fair or a good mentality to have. Now I understand that this isn't like my usual brand of videos, so in case this is a topic that doesn't interest you, you're most definitely free to click off the video. Okay, now let me just start off by saying, I know this video isn't going to get a million views, or that this isn't going to change anything in the grand scheme of things, as well as the fact that I've made it very clear I don't like giving real-world commentaries in my videos, but regardless of all of that, I feel that this is something that I must say anyway. Now, I would also like to once again reiterate, it's okay to not like an actor or actress for any reason. I myself have my share of them that I can't stand. Some for good reasons and some for stupid reasons, I will admit. But I just feel that people have taken their hatred of actors and actresses to ridiculous extremes. To the point that some say, if they work in Hollywood, that alone makes them guilty of something. Or if somebody says this or that, then these people will go to any lengths to discredit them. Up to and including making acting seem like a ridiculous and meaningless profession just to get at them. And that's where all of this really ticks me off. Because I've heard people refer to their profession as adult play acting. Or getting paid a million dollars to play dress up. In the name of mocking somebody they don't like. And listen, you can argue all day long over whether or not actors are overpaid. That's not what I'm here to discuss right now. My point is... Saying things like that is a total slap in the face to the thousands of people over the years who have dedicated their entire lives to the art of acting, to going above and beyond the call of duty to make themselves as believable in a scene as possible, to make an audience truly feel or experience something the way only an actor can, and you want to just dismiss them as playing dress-up because you don't like something somebody said? For example, Laurence Olivier's entire life revolved around Shakespeare. It was his one goal in life to adapt and perform in the many great Shakespearean works and do them the justice they deserved. And when he couldn't do that, he viewed himself as a failure in his old age. That's right. Laurence Olivier, considered one of the greatest actors to have ever lived, 
thought of himself as a failure because he wasn't able to do more. Was his passion, his dedication, his ambitions, his dreams, was all of that just adult play acting? Or what about somebody like Ingrid Bergman? She outright said on multiple occasions that acting was her number one passion in life and that to be unable to do it would render her life meaningless. Which was why, even when she was dying of cancer, she continued to accept acting roles and appear in stuff. The fame didn't matter to her. The money wasn't why she did it. She was so dedicated to her profession because she just loved it that much. And she cared that deeply for the art that she was contributing to. So was that deep-rooted love and passion just for playing glorified dress-up? And I could give plenty of other examples of this as well. But for the moment, I think I've made my point. You see, what these people don't realize is, by attacking the profession like that in the name of attacking someone or something they don't like, they diminish its value. They make it look like it means less than it actually does. Because sure, maybe acting on stage and in the movies is just adults playing dress up. But anybody with a love of cinema or the stage will know that it's much more than that. As is widely well known, not everybody can act. And even the greats can have a hard time pulling off demanding scenes. But when they can do it, the results they achieve are way more than just adult play acting. Like... Was Marlon Brando just playing dress-up as Vito Corleone? No. Brando simply made magic happen with that movie, to the point that many have hailed his performance as one of the best of all time. What he achieved in that movie was something that every true actor dreams of achieving with their career, to nail a part so well that it stays with the audience well after it's over. To make them honestly believe that they have become the character they're trying to play so that they can believe what they're seeing on screen is really happening and make the audience experience things that they could have otherwise only dreamed of. Now listen, I'm not trying to say that acting is the most important profession in the world or anything like that, because I'll be the first person to agree that some actors hold what they do in way too high a regard. My point is simply that acting is in and of itself an art form, a form of expression, a way to make people feel something. And I do not think it's acceptable for people to be trying to tear down the whole thing just to get at people they don't like. Because as I just said, there are people out there with an ingrained passion for it who want to truly make, or at least be part of, some artistic masterpiece through their acting. And I don't think it's fair to trivialize them, or all the people who did manage to achieve something wonderful with their acting career. I mean, you can just dismiss Picasso or Van Gogh works as glorified finger paintings. But any art lover will argue for their painting's true value, just as I am doing for these actors. Because even if you want to disregard everything else I've just said, acting is hard. To convince somebody that you feel things you don't is really difficult which is why we have whole awards dedicated to the people that can do it. Because they 
aren't just playing dress up. They're trying to pull off something infinitely more difficult to make what they're in better. Even if it goes unappreciated, they'll still do it because that's what an artist does. Now, as I said before, just because somebody is a good or dedicated actor doesn't mean you have to like them. It's okay to not like a celebrity for any reason you wish. That's not what I'm arguing against here. The only thing I'm saying is that it's wrong to attack the whole profession and try to trivialize it just because you don't like somebody and want to find a way to attack or invalidate them. Because as I noted at the start, that's nothing but just a one big slap in the face and huge insult to everybody who cared, dedicated their lives, made sacrifices, and did anything else they could to make their performances the best it could be just because they cared that much about their craft. Now I know I just went over all of that, but the thing is, these people and their passions matter, whether they're alive or dead, and I just want to make sure I do justice to them. But on a slightly different note, what people also seem to forget is that these actors and actresses are human. They aren't some species that can be judged and dissected like a dead frog. They're just like everybody else and are prone to the exact same flaws as anybody in the human race. Because honestly, being an actor or actress can be a pretty hard and stressful life with your entire life under a microscope and everybody judging everything you say and do, gossiping about your every action, and having a ton of magazine editors and online influencers just waiting for you to do something that they can go after you for. It's for that reason that some people reject the celebrity life entirely, and try to live as normal a life as they can despite their job. Now, some could argue that all of this just comes with the territory of being an actor, and that they should just be ready to deal with it, but come on, who could ever really prepare themselves for something like that? How can anybody ever truly know what life like that is going to be like until They've actually experienced it firsthand. Now, what's my point with all of this? That being an actor or actress is actually a very hard life, especially because they spend most of it in the spotlight with their every move open to scrutiny. And if you notice, most of the tragedies that happened in Hollywood don't usually come from the art of acting itself but from the lifestyle that ends up coming with it. Sure, sometimes it's the bureaucracy of Hollywood that's to blame, but other times it's the limelight. And that's also why it particularly annoys me when people just will not let an actor or actress live something they did or said down. Because nobody's ever done something stupid before, Nobody's ever said something stupid or done something embarrassing in public or something that they wish they could take back after the fact. My point is, everybody has bad days. Everybody does or says stupid things they wish they didn't. Everybody makes mistakes. But because these people have a spotlight on their lives, there are always people who will never let them live it down. And I guarantee you that those same people had made fools of themselves quite a few times in their own personal lives. But because nobody was around to see it, they don't have to be constantly reminded and mocked for it. My point here is, 
People often forget that these celebrities are still human. Sure, maybe some of them aren't exactly pleasant human beings, I'll be the first person to admit that. But my point is that just because they do or say something stupid doesn't mean they're a horrible person. All I'm saying is, people should scale back on being so judgmental. Because keep in mind, there's a major difference between an actor doing something truly horrible, in which case they deserve everything that's thrown at them, and somebody who just says something stupid that doesn't affect anything. People have got to understand that there's a major difference between the two. Because we're all liable to do the latter at some point. Now, like I said before, I'm not trying to say that actors and actresses have the most important, toughest jobs in the world. I'm not saying that at all. All I am trying to say is that their profession has a lot more worth than adult play acting. And that people should be a bit more understanding towards the ones who have legitimately done nothing wrong, but maybe said or done something they don't like. Because once again, it's okay not to like somebody, and particularly an actor, for any reason you want to. What isn't okay is trying to destroy and trivialize a whole profession that people pour their hearts and souls into, dedicate everything they have, and who can pull off some truly magnificent works of art as less than it is. Acting is an art form, just like any book, painting, or even movie and should be treated with proper respect. As I said before, it's not right to try and tear down the whole thing just to try and make a statement about somebody any given person may not like. Okay, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. So now I'd like to hear what you guys think. Do you believe that people are too hard on actors these days in terms of criticizing what they say and do, and that it's wrong to attack acting as a whole in service of that? Or do you believe that people are right to do this and that it isn't a problem? Please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But let's just try and keep it a civil discussion, as I know this can be a somewhat touchy subject for a lot of people. I only want to have a conversation with all of you, not have my comment section turn into a war zone. And thank you all for watching. It's all greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you all next time.